We're back. But this time they've given us the camera. Not sure that's a good move. Friday the 12th of June and Junior's birthday is tomorrow. I've got his presents, um, I'm going to wrap them up today. My wonderful cousin Sophie who is uh, an incredible baker, she's going to make him a cake, he doesn't know all this yet. First job I need to do is, um, is wrap his presents. I couldn't get the colour he wanted because they're in really high demand. Look at this, <laughs> he's 15 and he likes these chains. He's got him this whole thing that he wants, these fleece tracksuits. It's a PlayStation VR set. And I know he's going to go mad for this because he's been talking about this for ages. You know, I just want to spoil him a bit. He's got his GCSEs next year. He's a good boy. I thought I got him more than this. Uh, I promise I'll put some egg for There's one, two, three, four, five presents. Is that enough for a birthday? Me and Emily have completely different views on this. She's like, you don't buy kids expensive stuff, you just buy them something thoughtful um, because otherwise they expect. And I can understand that in a way. And she says, I hope you don't mind, but with Millie and Theo, I won't do that. I'm like, well, that's up to you. But if they expect it, and if they sort of demand it and stuff, you can forget it. But the way Junior approached this made me want to get all of it for him. And I know he's not expecting it. He will be expecting or hoping for just one of these. Maybe, maybe he's figured me out. Maybe he knows how to get what he wants. Maybe, maybe on the mug. At Junior's age, I had a Saturday job. Um, I had a Sunday job. <laughs> uh, obviously school work. I was rehearsing all the time because I really wanted to sing and enter talent competitions. So at his age, I was full on. I'm trying to teach them that if you want to be something, you can achieve a lot in life, but you've got to work for it. That's the only way you're going to become really, really good. Why are postmen sexist? Because they only deliver mail. Hey. <laughs> I have been taking this stuff, Jay. I'm three quarters of the way through the bottle now. What is it? What actually is it? Well, I, but you don't need to worry about it because you're you young. You said it makes you look like you look younger. My dad definitely needs that. Well, My kids reckon I look like I'm 12. No, you don't. Is it no. nice? Yeah, it's nice, but not for children. No, it yeah. isn't. does it taste nice? It tastes beautiful, mate. It smells like that tons of It's medicine. like having a cognac. Right, so oh, this position, I've got a, I've sure. got a thing. Yeah, but... Look at them. What is that? <laughs> oh, you want to do it's my birthday tomorrow and I have school today. I've had to do like three assessments today. <sighs> Life's hard. I mean, I'm 15 tomorrow. It's not really that exciting because it's only 15. 16 is a good one. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. There's moments, little moments where it's quiet. Just tiny little moments, that's it. What, what do you want to achieve in life, son? Get married, have kids. Yeah, but, yeah. Two kids, I'm saying. But, you know, depends on, I don't know. Hopefully one day, I'll become an actor. One day. And then, if, if I'm successful in acting, or a singer. then, and then 
well, hopefully become a musician from that so I'm an actor and a musician. You know, Will, Will Smith, that's my idol. Ah, oh, Alvista, thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at you. It's all right. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Leave, leave it, leave it, leave it. What are you doing? Washing up. Yeah, I know, but guess what? What? I'm a proud owner of something new. You're going to love how I get excited about stuff. Well, I'm not putting it in the dishwasher. Yeah, but hang on. I'll do it in the dishwasher because yeah, the dishwasher we don't need to use that anymore because I've got these. Now, here's the funny thing about this. It's the liquid, but it's a tablet. Who wants to do it by hand? You know how I love my dishwasher. Yeah, but the dishwasher doesn't clean properly. Yeah, yes. Well, that's <laughs> au contraire, darling, au contraire, because... Just give them to me and you watch what happens. This will clean it up very well. I keep doing the fairy joke, I've got to stop doing it. Try to find one of those. I've got a thing for this. Every day, every how, how many Wagamama's things does she want to keep in here? Are you serious? What are we going to do with them all? Honestly, right. I... Honestly, I'm over it. I'm leaving it. No, not dealing with it right now. And I do this. This is the best way to do it. Ready? One, two, three. Let's see if this has done the job. Now that, see, hey, spotless. My question really is that is he, do you feel he's trying enough at school? So that was an interesting chat. That was Junior's teacher and also Princess's head of year. I didn't think they would do it. I thought they were gonna come up with all sorts of excuses. It was good report from both Junior and Princess and um, you know, my main focus was that their effort's good. And she said, you know what, they've adapted to a new way of life three months out of school and they're at every lesson, they're online, they're doing it from start to finish. And I can't ask for more than that. Lovely cousin. So how are we going to social distance? I haven't seen my cousin for months. Do you want me to get it? Cuz? Cuz, I can't believe I can't give you a cuddle, man. This is ridiculous. But we're allowed to all meet now. Woo. Oh, man, that's incredible. He's going to love that. Oh, Cuz, thank you so much. Him. This feels so unnatural. I was just trying to get one of my words of my song in. It feels so natural. Q. It feels natural right now. No, I know, but I think we should make him a card from the beginning. Just get some. Have we got any card? Paper? Mate, this is it. This is no, what I'm talking me. about. Hey, what does a fish do when it drowns? <gasps> blue, 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 blue. Oh, I mean, what colour is a fish that drowns? Oh, cool. Blue, 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 blue. I mean, what colour is a fish? Yeah, so Pete and I are a little bit different in our approach to birthdays. I tend to go for like, maybe because my kids are younger, um, but they're certainly not getting like limited edition stuff. That's a really bad one already. I think it's kind of nice to not have to have expensive gifts to be happy about your birthday. What do you think, Theo? I, I think it's nice, he loves buying for them and he, he enjoys it and he'll actually sit there and wrap all the presents and everything. He gets quite involved with it now, which is really, really nice. You're going to have different opinions on things and that's part of what being good parents is, I think, because then you listen to each other's point of view and it's good to hear someone else's point of view. Dear Jay, how do you feel? Say happy birthday. That would work. Do you know what I've written so far? Dear Jay, happy 15th birthday. I love you so much. You mean so much to me. What should I say now? Love your sister. 
as in love your sister and love your sister. I have known Junior since he was five. Oh yeah, and Vista since she was three. three. We've got all the kids measured on the wall in the playroom and just seeing how small he was when he was five compared to now, it's like absolutely crazy. So, mm -hmm. 15. How are you feeling? Same as I felt yesterday. <laughs> really? Man, I can't believe it. It's crazy. You're as tall as me, or I'm as short as you. I don't know which one it is. Yeah. Um, and you're a dude, this is going to be a wet moment. Just take it. Okay. You're a fine young man, dude. You, you are a good kid. You listen to your dad. <laughs> You're respectful and you care about everyone. <laughs> Shake it over. Man like Junior. <laughs> oh, don't tell me it's stuck. Did Junior you know? Junior's dad spent a long time doing this. <laughs> Happy... <laughs> Did he? Did he? Yeah, he literally was sitting there. Happy now. 50th birthday. Mm -hmm. Right, cue the sad music. You are becoming a man. You make me proud to be your dad. You're caring and loving. Thank you for being a wonderful son. Happy birthday, Jay. Love, Dad. <laughs> Thanks, man. Right. And we'll look at Thank you, Re. Well done, Theo. Thank you so much. That's my <laughs> face. That's beautiful. Mills, that is amazing. What? <gasps> Look at that, all those colours. No way. <laughs> I love you so much. You mean so much to me. Exclamation mark. You mean so much to me. Love from Print there. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Pylon J! I like this one. That is sick. It's what? A lot longer. It's a lot no way. Like Dad, I love it. That is huge. Wait, the weight is so. <laughs> 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 I can't get up. No way. No. Oh, that's no way. No. No, that is insane. Well, you can wear it today if you want to. Of course, I'm wearing that today. Dad. Oh. You know what it is, right? PlayStation VR. Yeah. Oh my That's god, Dad. Right? Oh. Yeah, Yeah, he's enjoying this love too much. Oh, big time. <laughs> You're my son, aren't you? And you've done. You, you listen to me, and it makes me. Oh, I'm you made me proud, right? There you go. You made me proud. <laughs> oh real my Jordan god. Color. The real Michael Jordan color. That's the. That's oh exactly my god. <laughs> what? Oh my god. What do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Thank you so much. And there's your your laces are there. The red laces are there. Oh. Are you wearing that today? Please what do you mean? Of course I am. You can see me. Calm down. Yes, here we go. Lockdown life makes it easy to put your health and beauty on hold, but with Reverse Life Marine Collagen, you don't have to do that. Give your body a daily simple boost to fight the signs of aging. so kind did you actually bring this for junior uh they have bought junior a little present from the spaghetti tree which is so nice what what actually is it my love We've got a pizza nutella a pizza nutella oh my gosh i would never put anything on my car but i'm going to for this <gasps> right whenever you're ready just open that bad boy and tell me what you think of that <laughs> 
Oh, is that a chocolate amazing. pizza? That is a Nutella pizza. Oh my god. Oh no, it's amazing. Oh, Maria. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, what's it like? Mm. All four of them in the hot tub. They absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. <laughs> They're listening to spa music. <laughs> Ella, this is the boss. Can I just say, guys, I've asked Junior what he wants for his birthday, what food he wants, and he wants to order Greek. That's what I'm talking about. We're here for you, my man. Mate, I know we're not allowed to... Not too close, not too close. Here Mate, you look fantastic, brother. No, 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 you look trim, you look trim. This is Suvlaki, man, look at that. That is the real deal Suvlaki. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my is lord. Is it good? Yeah. Woo! Some... This is meant to be for Junior's birthday, and we're just having to eat it together. Jay! <laughs> Sorry, we got hungry. How is it? Marks out of 10. Do you feel like you're in Cyprus right now? Well, happy birthday, Jay. Um, We really miss you, and uh, we're really enjoying this food in your honour. You can't talk, can you? Why? We're not in a courtroom. You don't have to say we're missing this food, your honour. Men. Hurry, guys. Oh, this is so good. And I look like an egg because I've showered. Junior, happy well, birthday. Happy birthday. What's your 15 today? Oh, I love you. That is nice, you too. Yeah. No, hug me. I'm joking, I love you. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Lizzie, can I give you the salon? Happy birthday, my boy, mate. <laughs> I just wanted to say that I'm proper proud of you, Jay. You like you you have honestly turned out to be an awesome kid, man. And I'm super duper proud. I really am. Happy birthday. up with this idea of going to the beach today which actually is wonderful for the children but I'm like it's like 12 degrees can I be bothered going to the beach when it's cold we've had this wonderful weather we've never been to the beach and we're going when it's cold no but this is not for me this is for the children I think it's being a Brit you go for it despite the weather I grew up in Australia and I know we're in England and I love the beaches but in summer how far away is it an hour. An hour. We're going to travel an hour to go to a windy beach. These are things you do when you have children. Yes, yes, but you can do... Um, what I'm saying is you, we could just go up the road and go for a nice picnic. We somewhere. could. One layer, two layer, three layers. I've got a coat. I've got a beanie. Have your beanie. If you're walking your dog and you want to take, you know... But... Uh, just... Okay, well, let's give it a go. 
Woo! Enthusiasm. Let's do it. Let's go to the beach. Come on, Dad. Yeah, no worries. Pete is really miserable about going to the beach, <laughs> uh, which is hilarious. Basically, because he's an Aussie, he um, doesn't like doing anything unless it's boiling hot sunshine. But I asked the kids, what's the one thing you want to do today? And they wanted to go to the beach. So obviously, I obliged. Right, kids, in the car. Are you ready? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm yeah. so excited. Woo! Don't ask. Are you excited, Dad? Yes. By the time we get to the beach, my attitude will be completely different and I'll be fine, fully clothed with boots. Um, it's going to be great. We're going to have a good time. Well, Emily, I have to say, we're arriving now and it's quite nice swimmers. weather. I'm shocked, oh, Ems. I'm now overdressed. You love it, aren't you? You are absolutely loving it. Who can see the sea? Guys, look! Is it a shark? He didn't want to come to the beach. Uh, he was whinging about the weather and oh why if it's you know it's going to be freezing and what's the point of going you can't swim and um, we've arrived and it's just so lovely the kids are so happy they're making sandcastles and that is the main thing i guess this is like really exciting for them because they're finally out of the house doing something other than sort of um, playing at home so i think that's why they're ridiculously excited it's a little bit cold but but i get it for the kids to go I told you we should go to the beach today. <laughs> Mate, she never listens to me. Honestly, it's unbelievable. I mean, it's still an experience for me to go to the beach fully clothed, but something new and I quite enjoyed it. Lesson I learned is that even when you think something's not going to be great, just do it anyway. Right. <laughs> I'm feeling so smug right now. The kids loved it. They ran around and like got shells and um, played, you know, they got a bit wet at one point, um, but that's what it's about, isn't it? They had an ice cream, um, we had a little walk and we came home and we hardly saw anyone actually, so it was perfect. Um, so it was a really good day and it just goes to show that it doesn't matter whatever the weather, we can get on and get to the beach. You can definitely tell when mum's here taking you to school because your hair looks <laughs> completely different. <laughs> Are you ready for nursery? Good boy. Have a great first day, okay? Mm. Love you very much. I love you too. Say bye, Dad. Go on, Millie. Let's Wait, put look. your seatbelt on, darling. Look at my teeth. Uh, I want to give you a kiss. Yeah, you did a wee wee, didn't you? My teeth. I know I've already been before. You okay? Love you. <laughs> Love you guys. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Are you kidding me? We've got peace and quiet for the first time in three months. How's it going, son? School's great. You can use my own brand of toilet paper, Andre X. Well, I guess it is a crap job, so. All I'm asking is why are we wearing the same top but just different colours? Okay, alright, alright. Alright, alright. Hey! What's up, brother? What's happening? You alright, man? 
I'm good, brother. You? Yeah, I'm hey, good. Hey, Harry. Yeah, everyone's good, brother. Everyone's good. But Junior's going to be 15 tomorrow. Can you believe it? Is it his birthday 15. tomorrow? 15. 15. No. No, I was just thinking when we were 15, man, or when I was 15, how times were different then to how they are now. He's got friends of all different cultures. It's really nice, yeah. you know? It's a multicultural life. Australia back in those days, it wasn't multicultural. It was in Melbourne. Yeah, but, but not, not on the Gold we Coast. Lived. So were you were you the only Greek in the school? I was the only one, man. Racism, look, let's face it, racism exists in every country. Yeah, right? and it's been going on for thousands of years. The racism was about... Us, the Greeks, the Italians, we were, as you know, we were, we were called wogs, yeah. right, over there. We suffered racism bad as kids, you know, called greasy wogs, yeah. and we were, I was beaten a f quite a few times from kids at the school. Yeah. A lot of them... Have... You, you know what it was for these kids, bro? Sorry to cut you off. No, you no, go on. Was? Although they were being racist, for them, I think it was peer pressure to fit in with their peers. Even one of the teachers, Danny, at school that used to call me a greasy wog. I saw him years later and he was like, oh mate, I'm so proud of you. And you know, and I, and I forget, I, I was like, of course, I don't worry about it, but. You've also got to remember back then, it's like TV. What was acceptable back then is not acceptable now. The problem is, is that you've got some people that have an inbuilt hatred for cultures. To this day, yeah. I had, do not wear my hair curly purely because every time I look in the mirror, I see what those kids used to call me. Even now, at 47 years old, you'd think I'd be over it. We love Australia, man. Australia. Oh, I love it's Australia been, so much. It's been a huge part of our life and it's always part of our home as well. Although our home's here, Australia's still home. We're loving your little YouTube channel, man, with the, with, the, you um, like it? with the cooking, yeah. Hello, my name is Danny Andrea and welcome to my kitchen, Danny's Kitchen. I, always, I was always putting pictures up of the foods that we will cook on Facebook. And people say, oh, that looks amazing. Send us the details, send us this, send us the recipes. I thought, why not have a bit of fun and start a YouTube channel? Absolutely. Cheers, brother. Love you, man. Thanks for the chat, bro. No worries. Love to the family again. Bye, guys. You too. Bye, everyone. Love you. Bye, bye, bye. So this is what I did to Junior. I sent him a message saying, King, I have your lunch. And this is his reply. First bit's fine. Okay, thank you very much. But I am still doing some work and I've got tutor in five minutes. And then I shall be done. Is it done to the best standard? That's when I realize I'm a mug. It's at that moment, that exact moment, this bit here. Is it done to the best standard? D did, you, did you hear that bit? This is what I have to deal with, ladies and gentlemen. And a little bit of parmesan. Hey, we missed you. When I picked him up, I was so excited. We missed you so much and the house was really quiet. Yeah, that part I did like, I'm just gonna say, the quiet house bit. Wow! Oh, that's too cute. That's really good drawings. Isn't it? I know, I said, Daddy's not bad in that one. I have my antibody test. Right, that's what I wanted to ask you. So you've had an antibody test now. Well, how long until you get results? Is it about, ow! Is it about 40, 48 hours? 48 hours, oh my gosh. So the, only, only, do you know the pathetic only thing? Only key workers can get it, right? I think so at the moment, yeah. Yeah. So um, the pathetic thing is that I really hate having my blood taken, so the, even though I take blood from people all the time. So, Millie, we're going to surprise Daddy with something, aren't we? Can show what it is? <gasps> I lost my front teeth. So you've got now, have you got any front teeth at all? <laughs> have you just got a big, massive gap? How are you going to eat? I don't know. We're going to see if Daddy notices. We're going to surprise him. Come on then, you go in. No. Show me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mwah. <laughs> Oh! I lost it when I was eating. Close it really tight. It's got to go into a pillow tonight. Can you see it? Hi, Dad. Hi, Pop, sir. How are you getting on? Good. Where are you? I'm at work, sweet. I'm just finishing a, a clinic. So we're doing telephone clinics these days. Wearing your pyjamas. <laughs> I could theoretically do that. But obviously, you're wearing a shirt. I can see that. Oh, I'm wearing a shirt. Um, so, Millie had a reason why she wanted to call you. Oh my lordy! 
<laughs> and what's going right for tooth fairies these days? Uh, tooth. It varies between a pound and two pounds. Wowzers, the tooth fairy's got a bit of money these days. I love that time when you, when kid, your kids got no front teeth. I know. And, it, and it, you're able to tell exactly how old they were at that time. It's always around five, six. Yeah. So. Oh, Dad. Well, it's good to chat to you. I'm glad that we you managed too. to show you. Bye, Millie, you gonna say bye. Bye, bye, bye Bridget. Bye. 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 <laughs> She's gonna fall, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Double check it's in there. Yeah? Right, put it down. Oh, you wanna put it right oh, underneath. Going underneath? Wow, okay, good move, yeah. yeah. That's the original way, mate. There you go. Shall we count the letters? <laughs> Only two. Someone's home is in this pond. Let's find out who. Are you gonna sleep well? Yeah. Can I have sweet dreams. Who have you got here cuddling you? Little bunny. Little bunny. Okay then. <gasps> the tooth fairy came! What did she bring you? Two pounds. Two, Two pounds? Look! So it's excellent news that you got your antibody test back and that you're positive. Yeah, which to be honest, we thought I would be. So what does that mean? My body has mounted an immune response to the COVID virus which at some point in the past. Which means you had COVID-19. Yeah, so it means that I had it at some point. Because at the time, what people didn't know is that you self-isolated for two weeks upstairs on the top floor and nobody knew about it because you didn't want to say anything because you thought, well, what if I haven't got it and I'm making a big deal out of something, even though we kind of knew you had it. You had to self-isolate from all of us. So I remember that time being really tricky because, you know, as obviously I had the homeschooling of Millie um, and Princess and Junior. Yeah, I felt a bit under. I had um, a bit of a sore throat, like my glands were up and things. And I, the w bizarre thing was the taste and smell. Um, I've never experienced anything like that with another virus. I have done, I have if I've been really congested, I've lost my um, but you had no place congestion. of love, but I had no congestion at all. So it, it was really bizarre. Dude, I remember breakfast, lunch and dinner bringing up to you because you were on the top floor in one room and Junior was on the other and you were both isolating. And I remember bringing up food, putting it down, knocking on your doors and running off. So with the antibody test now, it's nice to know that I wasn't going mad. I did have it you did probably have it. at that time. Um, and although the important thing to remember is it doesn't make any difference going forward to how I behave. Um, mm. Having antibodies doesn't mean that you're immune and it doesn't mean that you are exempt from doing things like social distancing. So, so I, I still weird. have to follow all the same rules as everyone else, but it's, it's good to know that I, I have had it.